It is permissible to buy and sell dogs in almost all countries of the world today. But Islam does not allow keeping dogs in the house. Those who keeps dog without any needs, lose one or two krats, from his good deeds each day. But keeping dogs for hunting, guarding livestock, and guarding crops are permissible in Islam. Abu Huraira, narrated that, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, whoever keeps a dog, except a dog for herding, hunting or farming, one grat will be deducted from his reward each day. Abdallah, Ibn Omar, said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, whoever keeps a dog, except a dog for herding livestock, or a dog that is trained for hunting, two grats will be deducted from his reward each day. In the other hadith the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the angel of mercy, does not enter the house, where there is a dog, or any kind of, animal, picture. So we can say, keeping dogs in Islam is not permissible, except for hunting or guarding livestock and crops. It is permissible to keep dogs for a guarding houses so long, as that is outside the city, and that there is no other means of guarding the house. The Muslim should not imitate others by running with the dog, or touching its mouth, and kissing it, which causes many diseases.